Hey guys, it's Tony. I figured I'd start a mini series of how to use uh, certain indicators on TradingView, at least for uh, the mobile app version. This is not, uh, you can you can take this and you can use it obviously on desktop, but I figured I'd start a, you know, kind of a mini series and show you guys how exactly to use specific end indicators, whether they are moving averages or, you know, MACD, stochastic, the RSI, the Bollinger, the Bollinger Band, stuff like that. So I figured, I would maybe start a mini series just to show you guys um what is it called at least how to use them right so i mean for this example i'll be using the weekly and i'll be using uh the roblox the roblox ticker to basically show you guys how to how to use the fibonacci uh retracement and also how to use the fit well no we'll just do the retracement right now how to use the fibs right and how to kind of use them to forecast um certain uh certain moves to the high side or certain retracements that it can have so i mean for starters we don't need support and resistance at least, at least not for this video so i remove all drawings and then we'll start with um with a basic forecast right so um that was my wife uh so how to use a fibonacci retracement what exactly does it do and you know how to place them right um if you're looking to actually i'm going to keep this very simple right so the fibonacci retracement is based off of um like like natural numbers that uh fibonacci did like i don't know when he lived or whatever but they're actually based off of uh natural mathematical numbers that kind of give you some sort of understanding of if there's an extension of let's say you know, a certain percentage, there's going to be a pullback of a certain percentage, right? So that's basically what it is. I don't know the full gist of how the fib retracement got started or what exactly it is. Um, but that's basically what it is. It's to let you know what kind of a trace uh, retracement uh, a certain ticker can have or what kind of a forecast you can potentially uh, look at for the full, um, you know, for the for like the for like future results. Right. So um Essentially, what we do have right now is if you think to keep this simple, if you, you know, if price is going on the high side, you're basically looking to get a low to high. So you would grab your Fibonacci retracement and you would put it on the relative low. Um, so in this case, it would be either ticker, it would be either the candle on March 8th or the candle on March 22nd. So it doesn't really matter because price seems to be relatively on the same uh, on the same setup for both of these. Right. So, um, I mean, you, you, you would some people tend to put it on the end of the candle i don't like doing that i actually add it from the from the actual relative low um in this case i'll just add it to the relative low here and all i'm doing is spreading this out all the way to the top so i mean it can essentially put the dot to the next one i tend to actually have my fib all the way to the right that way i can see a full extension of where price can actually go right so i don't want to add it here because then i only have the that color scheme to the left side actually i like to spread it out for my whole screen and you if you see that dot it's connected to the number zero on the left hand side of your screen right and that number changes according to where you place it so right now what we're going to do the, the relative high is going to be um where we where, where the where the previous close was right so the previous close which happened on june 1st uh was actually right here and the thing is i don't want to use june june 1st as the close um i actually tend to use the one previous to that right so um oh wait, no no yeah yeah i think it, yeah it's, it's officially close we'll use that so we want to use the one that's actually close right and i tend to only do this on the weekly chart or the higher time frames because they tend to be more accurate right so um we could basically set uh, the ticker or oh, the actual fib retracement on the highest on the relative high right so we'll set it right there again we're doing it based off that wick we're not doing it based on the candle we don't want to put it down here we want to do it off the wick off the high right so we'll put it right there we'll place it and then what we have right when we have right now is essentially kind of like a rough estimate of where price can actually hit or where it can go so if you guys can see exact like i mean look, look how perfect this kind of look how perfect this actually gets set up for us right so if you guys look at the levels on the fibs you guys can see that the 0.236 level is, is a perfect retracement of where previous support was or structure was right again uh it completely passed that 382 level but again look at this look at the hat look at the 50 percent level right here the 50 percent again it touched back on april 12th and again broke on may 17th retested as support on may 24th and then shot up completely right again you guys can see the 618 level right here you guys can see all these wicks hitting that same price from a, from all these dates 
And again, a rough estimate of this 0.786 level, which is a, a 786 percentage. Again, you have it right here. And again, the low is that one. Uh, but again, this low is actually uh, based off of what is it called? Uh, it's based off of uh, the previous um the previous uh the actual where you guys actually placed it right so this this one and the high don't really count it's just kind of measuring the high to the low and then kind of give you an estimate of where it can actually retrace to so i mean it's it's generally a good idea to know fibs i don't tend to use them all that much but it's i, I only really use fibs not as a retracement but a lot of times as uh kind of a rough forecast of where i think price is gonna go right so what we did right now is we generally did a fibonacci retracement what i'm going to show you guys and what a lot of people don't teach is a fibonacci forecast right so what we, we what we initially did was a fibonacci retracement again relative low spread it all the way so you guys can actually see the levels pretty clearly to relative high this would basically like i just said like i just explained this gives you uh, a retracement levels that price if and if this if roblox ends up being bearish it can retrace to these levels right these would be perfect buy-ins perfect setups for you know to if you're if you're shorting you would actually short here and you would take profit down at this at this level right here which is the you know the the 236 level right so it's essentially just showing you retracement levels right it can, price can come back here 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 or they're all the way back down but i like to use my fibonacci i actually like to use the fibonacci retracement not for retracements but for forecasts and i'm going to be showing you guys how i do that um again you know we're doing the same thing but instead of doing low to high you actually do high to low so you're from relative high you go all the way down to the relative low again i don't want to set it up here i don't want this i don't want this candle or this wick to touch it because you know you can't have it this way but i like having my full screen um matched up to the to the specific color schemes right of where uh, and this gives me a better visual representation of where price is actually gonna gonna be at, at least for myself right um so let's get rid of that and this essentially teaches you or it kind of shows you where the next ultimately uh price movement can actually go so for, for example just right now on roblox if the, the high is this point of what 103 dollars and 0.88 cents 86 cents right essentially what can happen now especially if you're trading on the weekly is you know you can the next week you can possibly break this level and maybe it goes up this way maybe it goes down but ultimately your next your your next take profit or your next level that you're looking for is now that hundred and thirty dollar mark for roblox right and that's essentially what you're looking at you're looking at future forecasts of what you think can actually happen so the thing is if roblox actually breaks this peak of 103 dollars and 86 cents there's a strong chance or like a strong probability that it'll keep moving up until it hits that 130 dollars right so it might kind of swing here for a little bit might go up might go down might stay in this general area but for the most part there's a very high percentage that'll actually rally up until that 130 dollar level so if i was actually playing this or if i was buying roblox at this peak or somewhere generally in this area and i was basically bullish right my next uh level that i would expect roblox to hit a peak high would actually be 130 and i would generally be maybe 80 percent uh kind of sure or you know confident that it would eventually hit this 133 130 peak as long as this previous high of 103.88 roughly gets broken retested so if it breaks gets retested and you're still bullish there's a strong chance that the rally is going to continue all the way up to 130 dollars right that's basically how i would use um you know the fibonacci to actually forecast and not exactly for a retracement and again you would use this the same way if it breaks this high of 130 more than likely it'll probably tr trade around this level but the next actual a stop for roblox would be 174 dollars again this doesn't this won't happen essentially in a couple of days this can take months to actually play out but if this price of you know 130 dollars breaks and it's kind of here there's a strong chance that it'll keep rallying up to 174 dollars these are basically your indicators or your your i don't want to say your take profit levels but basically the, the next level that you're looking for roblox to actually hit if everything is basically plays out perfect and is essentially still 100% bullish, right? So that's exactly how I would use 
a Fibonacci retracement to kind of predict what the retracement would be from highs to lows and where you would actually, you know, get in on these certain levels if you're actually, you know, bullish, bearish, etc. Or if you think that, for example, Roblox is still going to go higher, this is how you would actually predict where it would actually go. Um, I am going to be going into um, how I use the forecast tool, which is actually this one. A lot of people have been asking me that generally I tend to be pretty accurate with this tool, which is when just kind of letting you guys like, 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 no, like it's, 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 it's essentially just a regular forecast tool, but I actually use the, I've never seen anybody use the forecast tool the way that I use it based off of historical movements, right? So I use, I use a lot of statistics in the plays that I make, and that's essentially what I use. So the next video is actually going to be about me using this forecast tool specifically, how I use it, how I use it to also predict, uh, you know, prices uh, for future, um, for just kind of future movement. Um, and this is actually the most accurate I found. Uh, it, it's a little bit more manual work, the forecast tool, but generally... I feel like with the forecast tool, I'm a little bit more accurate than using just the Fibonacci retracement or the Fibonacci uh, like forecast uh, to actually predict prices. But generally, I tend to be more accurate with the forecast tool, which will be my next video that I'll be releasing in this kind of mini series of how to use indicators on specifically on the TradingView app uh, for your mobile device, iPhone, Samsung, whatever, right? But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, my name's Tony. If you guys like it, if it was helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below on any questions or any indicators that you guys would like me to use um, and kind of go thoroughly uh, to show you guys. Uh, more than likely, I will be using this only through the mobile app, not necessarily TradingView on PC. But if you guys would also like me to go on PC to show you guys, I, I definitely can. There's no issue there. But again, Give me a thumbs up if you guys like this video and if you guys want me to continue this series. I'll see you guys later and have a great weekend.